some breaking news out at the top of the hour. Consumer confidence rising here for the month, coming in at 114.8. That was up from December's revised reading of 108. Also, the expectations index in terms of some of the trends that we're seeing. Median inflation expectations at 4.3%. That follows 4.5% the prior month. So some improvement there in terms of those infl- inflation expectations, Brad, that we're getting. But again, this is the reading that's the highest that we've seen since December of 2021. So putting that uh, in perspective here for our viewers, also marking the third straight month that we've seen increases. Yeah, we got a quote here from good friend of the show, Dana Peterson, chief economist over at the conference board. And she says that January's increase in consumer confidence likely reflected slower inflation, anticipation as well of lower interest rates ahead and generally favorable employment conditions as companies continue to hoard labor, which is particularly interesting in, with the backdrop that we've seen of some of now, uh, of course, this is looking back at December, but it's, it's particularly interesting with the backdrop, or excuse me, January, this is the reading for, but within that time of January, the number of layoffs that we've seen come forward that have had a dampener effect to a certain extent, however, uh, not showing up, at least as of right now, in this state. The gain was seen across all age groups, she notes, largest for consumers 55 and older in their confidence, and likewise, confidence improved for all income groups except the very top. Households earning 125000 plus saw a slight dip in their confidence. So uh, that's something to keep track on here. It doesn't seem like the major averages are moving on us either right now. All right, well, consumer confidence at least improving uh, for the month of December.